has this woody. Um, so I'm sitting here at a shipper waiting to be loaded. It was supposed to be a preloaded trailer and uh, get this out of the way. And uh, it wasn't. They're just finishing up now and I've got a little over two hours left on the clock. So hopefully they get done with it really soon because I have to make a delivery tomorrow morning. So I need to get rolling and then um, I will be on my way home uh, the day after that, in a couple days anyway, I'll be on my way home. So it's looking like that's playing out fine. Um, super tired. I, I ended up getting sick yesterday and kind of the day before. Um, but that was okay because I didn't have to deliver until today and it was a short run. So, I mean, I actually had the time to be sick. Um, I'm still kind of getting over it. <laughs> Um, but I want to give a shout out. I know I'm not a big popular page, but, uh, see if I can, I'll just write it down. Um, this channel, Bastron, Bastron, anyway. I'm not good at writing. B A S T R I N. Bastron is the name of this guy on YouTube. Um, I'm not exactly sure how old he is. Um, 21, early 20s, something like that. Maybe younger. I don't know. But he's got a disability. Um, I forget the technical name for it, but it's brittle bone disease, brittle bone disorder. Um, go check him out, Bastron. Um, I know there's there's a big channel that gave him a shout out, um, and you know his his subscribe or subscribe subscriptions subscribers went way up, um, but. One of the things I like about this guy is, you know, he he has this disability and he puts it out there and, uh, you know, he's, he's positive through the whole thing. Uh, he just uploaded a video today where he, he broke his collarbone trying to help his brother with a Christmas tree. <laughs> and he said the, the only thing that really has him upset about it is that he can't work out now because he's you know trying to trying to get his strength up and everything but he he showed a video about how he does things in his day-to-day -day life simple things like climbing stairs and getting into a chair and and uh, just getting around you know going to the bathroom and, and things like that um, and you know and then you got people like me um, or you know the rest of us who uh, just little things we take for granted and we get upset over you know stupid stuff that doesn't really matter and this guy is actually dealing with some stuff you know and uh, he's got a positive attitude about it all um, so really inspiring um, but yeah, and it's funny how I ran across his video was, um, I watch, I watch a lot of, um, like gun reviews and, and videos like that. And he had a video on there about how he has, he just bought himself a gun and, you know, he was explaining, you know, well, Everybody looks at me and why do you need a gun? Why do you need a gun? He's like, I need a gun more than most people do because I can't defend myself. You know, he's, he's in a wheelchair and brittle bone disease. He can't really fight back. So that's kind of his only, uh, his only defense. So, but 
you know, I saw that and I started watching more of his videos. I subscribed and, uh, but yeah, dude's just got a good outlook on, on life. Um, despite his, uh, shortcomings, I guess. Um, but yeah, and you start to notice people with, you know, debilitating disabilities like that usually have a positive outlook on life. You know, it, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, we, we have so much, you know, we are able to wake up in the morning and stand up and take a shower, shake somebody's hand, you know, um, he doesn't have that ability and it doesn't affect him, you know, like it would me, you know, if I, if I had to go through life living like that, you know, having what I have now, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. I don't know how I would handle it, but he handles it pretty damn well. So, like I said, Bastrin, B-A-S-T-R-I-N. Pretty sure that's uh, how you spell it. But yeah, I looked him up. Um, as for me, it's a nice sunny day out here. But uh, I really like to get out of here. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and kind of need a shower. My light's still red, so I'm still waiting. Uh, but the good news is I get to go home soon, within the next few days. And uh, it's funny because I'm starting to, to notice a pattern when they start sending me home. I pretty much have the same route when it comes to going home. And they're, where, I'm, where I'm dropping off this load tomorrow is, uh, in the city where I normally pick up my load going home. So I kind of had that predicted already, but I wasn't planning on getting the, the plan until tomorrow when I drop it off, which is pretty normal. But now I have it. So I've got my next, what, three days, four days planned out already. Good to go. Um, I need to start like writing stuff down, you know, when I, cause before I make these videos, I have all this stuff I want to say and, you know, in my head it's organized and then I start recording and it's not so much organized. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I guess as far as me getting sick, I guess I can talk about that. I uh, I got this load I was dropping off earlier today, and you know it was it, they they were giving me four days to go like 750 miles. And like I said, I, I talked about that. You know, it was pretty much a day's drive and a couple more hours the next day. Um, well. I went and I, I sent in my ETA and all that stuff and they were like, well, it's a live unload, so, you know, just be there on time. You know, I can't really get there early and drop it off or whatever. So it's like, all right, they, they got, got me a fuel stop. So I stopped to get fuel, I had a headache and I'm like, well, I mean, I was only like 200 miles away and like I'm just gonna stop here so I stopped and figured if I ate it would get rid of my headache and it didn't so I dealt with it um, and then I woke up the next morning worse headache 
stomach was hurting. I just and I didn't do anything all day. Luckily, you know, like I said, I had the time to be sick, but I didn't do anything. I sat in my sleeper literally all day. Um, and then today, this morning, I woke up. And I'm driving, and you know, I'm feeling okay. My stomach is still, you know, kind of. Uh, wishy-washy not feeling good but my headache's gone and as I'm driving you know you get an itch or whatever and I, I I'm just like scratching and I'm like it hurts like everything hurt like all my muscles and my arm like man it feels like I got beat up or something you know so yeah I had something going on and still kind of getting over it you can hear i kind of got the sniffles but uh you know i don't think i could have picked a better time to be sick so i didn't have to talk to anybody or drive or any of that thank god i still got a red light guys Clock's ticking. Anyway, main thing was I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Bastion. I think I'm saying that right. But, uh, and yeah, try, try to be positive. I mean, I know it's hard for me to be positive all the time and, you know, my personal opinion is I don't think it's healthy to necessarily like pretend like you're being positive or pretend to be happy all the time you know that's just stuffing feelings down but how you change that is you look for the positives in life you look for the silver lining you know um, and I, I deal with that you know I do uh, deal with some anxiety um, and my wife actually notices it before I do a lot of the time she can kind of get me out of that zone but when I pick it up when I start noticing certain patterns of thought and you know my breathing and my heart rhythm and things like that if I catch it early enough and I step back for a minute because a lot of times what, what happens is I start thinking about too much or start thinking about you know this whole big picture and, and what needs to be done and and all this stuff and um, crowds I, I don't like crowds uh, but that's kind of some different kind of the same effect but different um, but anyway I start thinking about too much so I have to step back and think about, you know, like the next hour, you know, like my clock right now is ticking. Um, but you know what? I can't do anything about it. I'm here. Um, I just have to wait for them to get done doing what they're doing. And, um, and then I can go from there, you know, and, where I've got planned is about an hour away and I've got an hour and 57 minutes. So, I mean, I do have a little bit of time, but, uh, you know, just look for, look for the good things in life because there's always something good. It might not seem like it, but there's always something good. There's a lot of bad, stuff happening in the world everywhere you know everywhere there's something bad and if you look for the bad things you're gonna see the bad things it's inevitable and uh but the thing is it's easy to see those bad things it's easy to see the negative it's easy um it's not always easy to see the positive um It's work, but uh, it's 
worth it. You know, it's worth it to be happy, to be genuinely happy, and not just fake a smile. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think that's all I got. This is one of my longer videos, I think. But reach for the sky, guys. Thank a trucker.